one of the keys to my success in life was I was able to see myself at the end of a very difficult task before I even started it. When I was 297, out of shape and afraid of water, I was able to see myself at graduation as a Navy SEAL. As time went on, I kept on getting rolled back to day one. And every day got longer and longer. So what I had to do was I had to take this big chunk and make it small. So I became the master of the one day that I was living. We have to do that now. We don't know when the end is coming to this. So we gotta master that one day. It may keep on getting pushed back day after day. If you master that day and want to be harder and stronger, you'll figure it out. Stay hard. A lot of us are being forced into solitude right now in our homes, apartments, wherever we live. But we're also being forced into solitude in our own minds. Life is the most brutal endurance sport of all time. And that's what we have to love about it. We have to flip it on its head and love the fact that life continues to attack us. You have to be that person who's always prepared. But the solitude right now that a lot of us are dealing with is what we don't want to deal with. It's the fact that we have to think about all these things that we don't like about ourselves. We like to use life as a big escape. That escape is not there anymore. All these distractions that we use, they're no longer there. This is the time right now for you to stop avoiding things. Get that pen and paper out. Look inside yourself. Stop looking at me or other people out here to be the hero of your story. This is time for you right now in all that solitude to get to know who you are as a person. Be alone with yourself. Start to face these different things in life. Knowing one thing in life, we are all very fragile in this world. We have to know that when we die, we die with some meaning and some purpose in this world. Stay hard. If you can dream and not make dreams your master, we all have dreams. I had it when I was younger, so I figured the best place to make those dreams come true are in isolation. So I walked into isolation as David Goggins, but I walked out of isolation as Goggins. When you become a savage, it's in isolation. When you train for a big MMA fight or just a boxing match, you don't stay outside of isolation. You go in isolation. That's when your mind changes. That's when your focus changes. Your dedication changes. Use it to gain strength, gain focus. Isolation is the key to strengthening your mind. Come on, the savage. The most important step we're ever take in life is our next one. A lot of us get our feet stuck in concrete. If you get our feet stuck in concrete because we're afraid to make enemies. We're afraid to speak what's on our mind. We're afraid of being in that group of people. And when you walk away, we're afraid of what they might say behind your back. All that fear clouds your brain, clouds your thinking. One thing in life, you can always have haters. Embrace them. Life ain't about medals. It ain't about houses, money, cars. It's about scars. So when you get judged with everything is said and done with, you don't get judged on your medals. You get judged on your scars. Those scars show your willingness to get to the side. They show your failures. They show your willingness to start from scratch. They show what you're willing to do to go the distance, to see what you're capable of. So make sure in life, don't be afraid to get scars. Stay hard.
there. How you doing? Got me back! It uh, looks like you've gone over your 10 miles at like under sub sixes. Bad times! All around you's crumbling! And all of those have quit! Your family's looking for that one guy right now. They're looking for that one guy who's strong, who's that pillar for the family in hard times. Make sure they look around, they look around and find you. These are the times right now for you to step up. Be that guy that can take anything. Stay hard. So make sure you do one thing for yourself in life. Make sure you save yourself. Assess yourself and fix the problem. Stay hard. I get a lot of questions. People asking me for help. So I ask them, what have you done to help yourself? Most of them say, I've been working hard. In life, a lot of us believe that we're working much harder than we actually are. Got up early for four days. We've earned something. You gotta drop your entitled mindset. It's dead weight. We believe you work harder than we actually have. Trust me, most of us haven't. The one thing in life you gotta realize is this. Learn to help yourself. Don't count on other people to help you. Stay hard. Well, I'm a hike in the middle of nowhere, out in the woods. You look up and you see a tree out in the distance. You see a dog tied up to that tree. You can tell by looking at it, it's a domesticated dog. As you get closer to it, you want to unchain the dog and save it. But as you get close to it, the dog is angry. The dog hasn't eaten in days. So his mentality's changed in life. It's important for us to stay hungry. That hunger changes your mentality. You go from being domesticated to being a savage. If you're scared of something, learn about it. Figure it out to overcome it. We have hard times. We hit turbulence. We fail. We fall on our ass. We have divorce. And we sit there and think about that one issue. And it, it's all we think about. And we forget to fly the plane, the plane is us. We forget to focus on everything in life, our habits, our goals, our destination. We end up failing, so stay hard. The question was, I'm working my ass off, but I'm not seeing results. What we do is we go on social media. We have all these fit models that we're taking these snapshots of. We start working our ass off for weeks, for months. Prepare yourself against yourself. So a few years ago, I used to work on an ambulance. And we pulled up to some horrific car accidents. And we had to assess the scene. And we had this golden hour. That golden hour is very important. We had to get people loaded in the ambulance and get in the hospital. Every morning of our lives, we were in that golden hour. We are assessing the scene of our own personal lives. Are we fat? Are we lazy? Do we not want to accomplish anything in life? You have to assess yourself. After you assess yourself, you have to formulate a plan. Well, this is the thing about it. People forget one thing about me. I used to be you. I used to be a fat guy. A guy that didn't care much. A guy that got D's and F's in school. A guy that blamed other people. A guy that was under, under mediocre. I wasn't even average. So this is the thing about it. I'm gonna tell you what people don't wanna tell you. Why you stop is because you're lazy. It's because you don't mind getting bad grades in school. It doesn't bother you enough to be mediocre, to be average, to sit around and watch people do great things. You don't mind it. So there's your answer. Your answer